Hello guys, my name is Desert Tiger and welcome to episode 9 of Crack Prack 3. Finally, I clean up my base. I swept all the floors. I even vacuumed the place. It took me a whole week to do this. I'm not gonna even mention my apartment, which is located on the second floor of my base. But anyway, I'm gonna show you my uh, interior part of the base, so let's get started. I'm gonna go in the front entrance of the base. And before I'm gonna do this, check out my new defense system. Finally, I got the laser fans, which is like awesome. But laser fence is so cool. It's actually allowed me to pass through the red beams. And all the passive maps can also pass through red beams without being hurt. Except hostile maps. Every time the hostile maps will touch the beam, we're gonna get zapped. Also, I have like four laser turrets, which I start shooting on the hostile maps. And then if I right click on the laser turret, see the range is right now 17. The maximum range is 25. But that's too much, so I changed to 17 for now. I may just lower the, the range so I can see how the fence is working. And these old fence is powered by one crystal. So this is the crystal. It doesn't matter from which constellation, as long as it's attuned to any constellation will power up the laser beams. Anyway. So let's go to the front entrance. Of course, like every base got the doorbell, right? <laughs> let's ring the bell. Now I'm gonna freak out if somebody walks to the door and opens the door from inside. That will it's gonna make me nervous. <laughs> anyway, so that's my first. I should close this door. Uh, that's my first room. So this is when you can drop the armor, change the armor to different one this is where you can drop the loot right now there's a junk I don't know what I'm gonna do but most likely I'm gonna just throw this away I should like make a maybe better system of throwing that junk we'll see still working on it and then we have extra swords extra backpacks if I would like to change or like get another one so I can do this and in this room I got the charging station, so I can charge my jetpack, I can charge my capacitors. There's an additional armor. Probably gonna get another one, and there's one more. I tried to do, you use this one, but uh, I didn't have a, such a good luck with this armor, so... But I still can use it. And I get extra weapons, pickaxes, bows. So let's go to another room. This is on the right side. We have a uh, electro blap room. This is all the different type of ones, and some of them like uh, they like m upgraded master wand. I'm trying to upgrade advanced ones and novice ones. There was another one, and I want. To, I'm testing different spells. To see which one is good. Also, I get uh, extra armor from Electro Blap. Uh, this is just only for display. I, um, not, but I'm not gonna use those. On the left side, this is the entrance to mining dimension. This is another entrance door to another wep weapons room. This is entrance door to fuel creation, and there's a garage door behind that. And this is the entry to garden. We're gonna see that check very soon. And this is what I making like uh, wood using bonsai pots. And if I one of them uh, draw is full, I can move this draw to over here, which this is the spot where can be accessed by refined storage. So all the wood, all the saplings, I can. Uh, yeah, I can uh, access from the refined storage over there. 
This is entry to my power source. This is where I'm generating the power using numismatic dynamo. Uh, so the chicken supplying diamonds and they burn the diamonds. <laughs> it's really expensive material to burn. And then I was getting the power. This is my backup power, which right now consists 650 million. And the main power consists only 6 million, and that's the main power storage. But this is just simple power cell, I'm planning to upgrade to a higher tier of power cell. And most likely also I'm gonna stick the power, power cells on this wall too. I'm not so sure about that yet. And in the future if I want different power source, I will just build the basement and install ender per power source. Right now the, my backup power is the solar panels on the roof. So let's check out real quick. This is easy way to go over there. So this is my solar panels. That's the highest tier of ender IO panels. So they generate some power and uh, that's my backup power just in case if I ran out of the other power or something bad happened and for some reason well uh, these dynamos will start producing the power so I have a backup which I can switch over here that's my switch and I will gonna drain the power from this uh, capacitor bank I can still upgrade my bank to all the way up but that's probably it's overkill and looks fine for now and anyway, so that's the power source. Here I have two rooms. One is for the old machines. The first part of the room is the Ender IO machines. And the other one is the thermal expansion machines. And some other additional machines from different mod. And yeah, that's about that. I got also water and the lava and there's another room with the chickens there's all different kinds of chickens which they supply me with all kinds of resources uh, these chickens like if I click on the roost they these resources stay they never goes to my fine storage because that's the external access to that and but if I need uh, higher big quantities of resources I just move the chickens from this these parts to the others to these parts and this all the resources being taken by these two roost collectors and this roost collector is gonna transfer all the items to my refined storage just like extra spare chickens Oh, right now when you hear in the background there was a laser was shooting on the, on the bad guys and this room is uh, for chicken breeder so I can breed different chickens mix them make a different species this is my extra chickens to breed if I wanted this is like spare chickens so basically I have a lot of chickens and if I need a lot of resources like say I want like a lot of ender pairs and just move these chickens because the, right now they just produce that much ender pairs and that's it but I can move these chickens to place them over here and they will keep pro producing all the time and the person until I'm gonna remove them from this spot from this rooster and put it back on this one so that's with the chickens right now I'm making a lot of scent because I'm planning to construct something yet. What I know uh, so far, this is my that's the, my main room. This is all the magic happens most of the time. This is the computer. I can get uh, buy some stuff from the computer, and this is the printer when I can copy the books and chatting the books and then get extra copies and the reason I'm doing this is because I'm working also on the new armor set with the 
new ball, so still under construction. And uh, the next room is a uh, kitchen. So this is where I supply myself with the food. Different kinds of food. This is a collection of the food. I start collecting the food. I did some of the stuff. Here on this side I'm still working to getting the honey. So I'm trying to automate the system so I don't have to like every time take the honey comes and stick in the presser and do this. So I'm trying to automate that. That's my another project. Here we have the farm room. This is when I can extra get uh, crops. So that machine crop farm is gonna farming right now. It's oh, how did I get? Oh, I know how I get this one. Uh, right now it's off because I'm not using at this moment. I'm okay, and also um, for the farmland I'm using hummus, which needs to be made from dirt and compost but probably I'm gonna switch to just regular plain farmland uh, this is my garden I got different crops uh, I don't have every other piece of the crops but for now it's fine that's uh, I don't need anything else so this for at this point so this is extra storage for the crops and uh, this is my market so I can get extra seeds if I need to and change it to different seeds depends which ones I wanted which type of food I needed most likely this is enough and this is the room for boats which gonna talk see that later and there's another engine exit like I said this exit from and this is the, my part of the base and also I have my uh, apartment so let's go to the apartment oh. so yeah, I got another kitchen in the apartment which also I can use the food not the less variety but uh, I can make the different where's my cocktails yeah I can make the different cocktails I can have plates so I can cook uh, and uh, this is my mini me my buddy uh, he's a little bit crazy I guess he's shining with the camera so let's leave him alone for, for a bit there's my TV my living room actually not TV my living room uh, TV is not working <laughs> yet uh, that's my bedroom. I put the install good, nice picture. And this is my bathroom. Of the mirror, so I can see myself. And, and that's it. That's the, my uh, tiny little apartment. Hello, mini me. Say hi to. YouTube audience he's a bit shy all right uh, as I said uh, this is my backyard so I can play the music cook some uh, uh, drink something uh, cook some meat eat and sit and enjoy the view and that's the end of my internal base tour I did not reveal all the rooms yet but I uh, promise you guys, I will reveal them soon. I hope you guys enjoy it. So see you next time. Bye bye. Take care.